Breaking Democrats launch project to defend Sharia law. What's your response? Because we want to protect our country against Sharia, Dems call us Islamophobic. We are not afraid. We do not want Sharia in our country because it does not belong here. Montana progressives are trying to blockade legislation from getting passed because it would deny the absurdity that is Sharia law from being implemented into the state's judicial system via Breitbart. You know, you've got to be kidding me. Senate Bill 97, introduced by Keith Rieger, bans the application of foreign law to in Montana courts, specifically highlighting Sharia law. Thankfully, the bill was passed uh, 56 to 44, but the number of votes in opposition to this legislation is simply astonishing. In other words, 56 to 44 to put, I implement Sharia law? You know, what's going on with this country? I mean, this is astonishing. Repugnant, abhorrent, revolting, and any other vomit-inducing synonyms you can think of would not even begin to describe the barbaric ideology that encompasses this widely used Islamic law. Cupcake, stop it. That's my puppy. Democratic Rep. Shane Morigu stated, I think it sends a dangerous message to minority groups, both here living in our state and wanting to come visit our state, just merely on the fact that you may be different. Am I the only one confused here? Is Morgu really trying to tell us that opposing Islamic law, which commands homosexuals to be crucified or mutilated, is sending a dangerous message? How dumb do these Democrats think we are? It's personally insulting as an American to have my First Amendment reduced to an exploitative tool used to defend the left's opposition to this bill. Representative Ellie Hill Smith stated the courts have said that laws that single out certain religions violate the First Amendment. This is incredible. I can't speak for every liberal constitution circumventing judge, but I see no correlation between freedom of speech and attempting to prohibit a set of Middle Eastern laws, many of which call for torture, like punishments riv uh, rivaling scenes straight from a Saw film. Even the most moderate Muslims support Sharia law, and the phrase religion of peace is widely used to describe the religion. They say that without any sense of irony, Sharia law would be a horrific implementation to our court system. According to Islamic law, a woman who has been raped absolutely cannot testify in court against a rapist. Those are the facts, but we Republicans are just a bunch of ignorant Muslim-hating bigots, right? This bill is attempting to preserve our Constitution from continued liberal assault and will now be passed to Democratic Governor Steve Bullock for a signature or veto. I can only hope he makes the right choice. I'm shocked when uh, any individual uh, tries to explain their opposition to this bill while keeping a straight face. Hey, Montana, please get with the program and follow North Carolina, Alabama, Arizona, Kansas, Louisiana, South Dakota, and Tennessee. They've passed bills opposing this barbaric Islamic law already. We're counting on you. But why should they even have the authority to pass that kind of law in the United States, do you see? Why should that even be an issue in the United States? You want to pass these kind of laws, you want to live under these laws, go back to your country, that's what I say. And I don't care if you're moderate or whatever. You want those kind of laws, that's what you believe in. You don't, believe, you don't belong in a Western civilization, bottom line. But that's not what they want. They want the caliphate, in other words, the complete takeover of the world within, a, a, you know, they're saying maybe 50 years or something. This is disgusting and disturbing. To, it's it's uh, mind-boggling. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.